Coming up on Metro Files this week, 41 years after they separated, 65-year-old Oluwa Tosin and 72-year-old Adeniro Olebute reunite and then renew their vows. Pinnacle Oil and Gas Company officially launched their ultra-modern multi-purpose depot at the Lekki Free Trade Zone Terminal in Lagos. Plus, we say goodnight to Chief Mrs. Jadesola in Pidakbo. Alright, it's great to have you join us on this week's edition of the program. Thank you so much for tuning in. Now, it's always about celebration on the show, and that is why we go out of our way to bring you special moments in people's lives, just as we're about to do today. So fasten your seatbelt, and let's go on this ride for about 30 minutes. So while we do that, be mindful of sensitive images. Once again, welcome to the program. I am Oge Chukwasi Oyeludi. All right, we begin with this beautiful love story of a couple who went their separate ways for 41 years. Now, somehow they managed to find their way back to each other's arms, and they are ready to live their life happily ever after. Now, Oluwa Tosin and Adeniro Elebute have renewed their vows, and as I said, they are ready to live their lives happily ever after. Take a look. What God has joined together, let no man. Love indeed never dies. If the story of Uluwa Tosi and Adeniro Lebute is anything to go by, theirs is a love story of a couple who had a misunderstanding and went their separate ways for 41 years, but came back together after four decades to give their love another chance. Meet 65-year-old Oluwa Tosi from the Ajibola royal family of Ilasekiti and 72-year-old Adeniro from the Ilibute family of Okiayedu, also in Ekiti. Parents of the former governorship candidate of the ADP in Ekiti state, Kemi Ilibute Hali. Their quest to give their love a second chance was well received and welcomed by their children and well-wishers who supported them all through the process as the couple decide to renew their vows first at the council registry. The bride is led in by His Royal Highness Oba Ajayi Olusheson Omolagba the Alasa of Ilasa Ikiti. They renew their vows to the admiration of everyone here, standing as witnesses, followed by the exchange of rings and signing of the marriage certificate. Princess Talabi Adibola Fun Okore Chief Elebute Adeniran Olopu wa pelu mi o Arunje oni wole ni o Amen separated for more than 40 years that uh, we, I don't want even to see her again. That I don't want even, though I take care of my children, I sponsor them, and I did what fathers are supposed to do for the children. 
I make them to go higher and higher in the university here and there. Whatever their mission, I brought my family together. But as God will have it, we say wonderful things usually happens with impossibilities. So today now, our impossibility become possible by the special grace of God. I thank God in my life. I thank my children, my children, because they make me happy today. They are, today is my happiest day in my life. Later that day, they moved to the palace of the Alasso Vilasekiti, the royal home of the bride, for the engagement. The groom, Adenira, arrives first. and the bride follows. It's certainly a joyful day, not only for the couple and their children, but for those who came to be a part of the great reunion. I'm not 
Coming together after 41 years apart is such a beautiful thing to see. It's love once lost but found again. A new chapter is open and they hope to live happily ever after. Congratulations to the couple and all the best. Now let's go witness as Pinnacle Oil and Gas Company officially unveils their ultra-modern multipurpose depot at the Lekki Free Trade Zone Terminal right here in Lagos. It's an ultra-modern, multipurpose-built petroleum products intake, offtake and storage facility conceptualized to revolutionize the Nigerian downstream oil and gas industry. This is a brand new depot built by Pinnacle Oil and Gas Company located at the Lekki Free Trade Zone Terminal in Lagos. This Pinnacle Lekki Petroleum Products Terminal is ready for use and some eminent personalities are here to formally commission it. The Governor of Lagos State, Babaji de Sonwolu, the Emir of Bichi, His Highness Al Haji Nasir Adu Bayero, the GMD of NMPC Limited, Mr. Mele Kiari, and a host of others were some of the dignitaries who joined the CEO Pinnacle Oil and Gas, Mr. Peter Mba, for this groundbreaking occasion. journey. However, we are grateful to God for giving us the courage, determination and the drive to continue up to pollution. This dream to build the largest terminal in the country started off 10 years ago, but today it's a reality and the management of the company are optimistic about the economic benefit it will bring to the country. Pinaco was driven by its mantra of being a company driven by innovation. We have always believed that the role of business in community is always to seek ways to make things better for the community. In line with this, in 2011, we started working on a concept to solve this problem, which has resulted in the ultra modern facility we're commissioning today. <laughs> Where
when fully operational, it is expected to generate over 5,000 jobs and this is one aspect that everyone is excited about, including the president who joined virtually. I am aware that the operators of this facility have eased congestions in the Apapa area, reduced cost of petroleum product distribution, eased delivery of products to many parts of our country and provided hundreds of jobs. Other goodwill messages came from the host governor, Babaji Desongolu, and the GMD of NMPC, Mr. Mele Kiari. This facility will not only serve Nigeria, it's also been positioned to look at the opportunity of export on the West African corridor, curating that single market in which Lagos will continue to remain the commercial and the logistics hub of the entire West African region. And without mincing words, uh, this is the largest exit point for petroleum product that we have today. And it has clearly demonstrated capacity by easing delivery of petroleum product into our country, many parts of the country, and whenever we are in difficult situation, we will always remember that the exit point that will work for us in recent times is the Pinnacle facility. And I congratulate you, Peter, for great work done. And for us in NNPC, we will continue to partner with you and other stakeholders uh, and other investors in this space as we continue to provide energy security for our country, which is very, very uh, critical for all of us. It's my singular honor and privilege, an extreme privilege, to represent Mr. President in this occasion and to court this court on his behalf and to declare that this facility is now formally commissioned by Mr. President and congratulations to Pinnacle Oil and Gas. After the cake cutting, the guests immediately went outside to officially commission the building. We have officially commissioned on October 22nd, 2022, by His Excellency Mr. President Muhammad Buhari, FR, President of the Armed Forces of Canada. We saw this, this project at, at the concept stage, and it looked so difficult at that time to actualize. But today is a very happy day for us as a bank to be part of the success story. The company says it's optimistic and ready for the task ahead. They remain committed to hugely contributing to the growth of the economy through the Pinnacle Oil and Gas Company. Welcome back. If you're just joining us, you are watching Metrofile right here on Channels Television. Now to a solemn one, and that is the burial of Chief Mrs. Jadisola Ipidako, which took place right here in Lagos. The final home journey for Chief Mrs. Jade Sonla Ibidako with the wake up and service of songs. Chief Mrs. Ibidako is the mother of the Vice Chancellor of the Lagos State University, Professor Ibiemi Olatunji Bailo. Together with her siblings, they are set to give their mother, grandmother, and great-grandmother a befitting burial, having lived for nine decades. And we have a gift to thee, have a gift to thee, have a gift to thee. A devout Christian, great cook, a selfless giver, and other endearing qualities were used to describe Chief Jadisola Ibidapo, and all these qualities her family and well-wishers are going to miss. Her exit has brought pain upon her family, no doubt, 
but they look on to the bright side with great determination to carry on from where she stopped while also cherishing the great memories she left behind. The next day, they gathered at the Redeemed Christian Church of God, Ibutiemeta, Lagos, for the funeral service. Dakwa family are not alone in these trying times. A large turnout of their friends and loved ones have come to sympathize with them in their moment of grief and also join them in praying for the repose of her soul. Prayers for the family and then a brief lying in state. She was taken to the Ebony private vault where she was laid to rest. She is a caring mother, and whenever I have any challenges, uh, I consult her, and uh, she will always give me words of advice that will surmount to the problem. My mommy is the very religious, was very religious. She gave, she gave us the real um, tutorage. 
of um, being a good Christian. And later they gathered at the Harbour Point Event Center to continue the celebration of her life. of losing their dearest mother may never go away. However, the decision to celebrate her and the impactful life she lived, they say, remains topmost in their heart. Chief Mrs. Jade Solai Bidakpo has played her part and has gone to be with her maker. She will be greatly missed by her children. May her soul rest in peace. Well, may her soul rest in peace and our deepest condolences to her children. But that's it on the show today. Thank you so much for watching. For these and many more, kindly visit our YouTube page and also remember to follow us on all our social media pages. But thank you once again for watching. I am Ogechukwosi Oyelude. I see you next time.